I think a link between Liverpool and the Wirral shorelines. Pier ahead, our starting point, takes its name from the long stone pier which once jutted out into the river from the shore next to the Sailor's Church, the Church of Our Lady and St. Nicholas. <coughs> you can see the church at the back and to the left of the Liver building, with a golden square rigger ship on its mountain top tower. Thank you. 
Jesse Hartley, who was responsible for much of the Scotland architecture, including the Royal Albert Garden. The clock's chief use was to check the ship's chronometer as the vessel left port and was affectionately known as the Dockers Clock. It has six faces and can be seen from all points of the compass. The only other one of its kind was in Russia. Yeah, that's opened in 1908. 
Some say that the name comes from a bag of dinners once found washed up on the shore group. The water goes to fill the pools for seawater taken from the river mouse in the But it obviously had an unusual character. Because between 1908 and 1907, 205 national and world records were broken. The tall square tower, looking something like a giant stereo, is the Kingsway Road Tunnel Ventilation Tower. Its twin is on the middle side.
they change their manager to Brian Epstein. Ditch their leathers for smart suits, shirts, and ties. And for their final show, they had to place their drummer ready the best with Ringo. Many, many bands played on the Royal Irish over the years, including Jerry and the Pacemakers, The Searchers, Ackerville, The Farm, and Elvis Costello. If you're interested in finding out more about the Beatles, you can visit the award-winning attraction, The Beatles Story, which is based at the Royal Albert Dock. The attraction takes visitors on an immersive journey through the lives, times, culture and music of the Beatles and contains an impressive collection of fascinating memorabilia. For more information or to buy tickets in advance, please visit the Beatles Story website. The tall square brick tower close to the river is the ventilation shaft and pumping station of the Queensway Road Tunnel, one of six ventilation stations used to maintain fresh air within the tunnels at all times. It took nine years to build Queensway, and it was opened in 1934 by King George V and Queen Mary. Far down below us now are the road and rail tours which cross under the River Mersey. You can take a behind-the-scenes walking tour of Mersey Tunnels, and discover why I'm here for the journeys. For more information, visit merseytravel.gov slash tunnel tours. As we sail past Woodside, you can see in the distance some of the elegant Victorian architecture built during Birkenhead's heyday. Birkenhead was the first town in Europe to operate a dedicated passenger tramway, and the first ever public park was built here, an idea of William Blair, a famous shipbuilder. It was paid for by the council and designed by Joseph Paxton, the famous designer of the Crystal Palace, and featured in the Great Exhibition of 1851. The park, officially opened in 1847, offered opportunities for recreation to all Birkenhead residents with the formation of a number of park-based clubs. Paxton's design was later copied on a much grander scale by an American named Olmsted, who co-designed the clock tower with the green dome is Birkenhead Town Hall, which stands in the elegant Hamilton Square, one of the finest Victorian squares in Britain, and which apart from Trafalgar Square, has the most great one listed buildings in one place in Britain. Can you see the tall slim spire of St. Mary's Church? This arch is site of the old Birkenhead Priory where the very first ferry service began. In front of the church is a slipway built in 1840 called Monk's Ferry, and this is the spot where the monks will begin the mile-long journey across to Liverpool. On the other side of the slipway are the dry docks and slipways of Camel Laird, famous for building many great ships, such as the Ark Royal, the Second Mauritania, and even some of the nicer ferries. The last ship built was launched in 1829, and over 1,300 ships have been built The construction of the is one of the largest in Europe, and in recent years has seen a number of major publication projects, including the building of the flight books, the new HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier. In January 2021, Camembert secured a four-year contract with Calmer, one of the UK's largest ferry operators, for the annual maintenance and dry docking of the five largest vessels in its fleet. Each vessel will dock at Camembert each year. In April 2014, the British government authorised the procurement by the British Antarctic Survey of a royal research ship at an estimated cost of £200 million in 2015, Cabernet won the construction contract, and it was the largest commercial shipbuilding project in the country in 30 years. Commissioned by the Natural Environment Research Council and operated by British Antarctic Survey, the new polar ship, the RRS Sir David Attenborough, will transform UK research in the polar regions, providing scientists with state-of-the-art facilities to research the oceans, sea ice, and atmosphere. Its missions are critical for understanding and making sense of our changing climate. 